Hello everyone, I am Dr. Deepa. Today we are here to learn about the new topic, the heart palate. The heart palate is the part of the palate which makes up the anterior two-third of the entire palate. So, the palate is the partition or the term palate refers to the roof of the mouth. The term palate refers to the roof of the mouth. This forms the partition between the nasal and the oral cavity. So, in this picture, we can say this is the heart palate which is seen. This, the entire palate which includes the hard palate in its anterior two-third and the soft palate in its posterior one-third. So, it, we can make out only the bony portion of the palate which is the hard palate in this atlas view. So, this is the entire hard palate. The hard palate including the soft palate which is seen behind the hard palate divides the oral cavity from that of the nasal cavity above. It divides the oral cavity below from that of the nasal cavity above. When we talk about the formation of the entire hard palate, the hard palate is called hard as it is completely bony in nature. It is formed completely by the bones. This is the view showing the hard palate where we can make out the formation of the hard palate. So, the formation of the hard palate is divided into the anterior two-third and the posterior one-third by the suture which by the suture in between which is seen here. So, the anterior two-third of the entire heart palate is formed by the part of the maxilla that is the palatine process of the maxilla. So, the anterior two-third of the heart palate is formed by the palatine processes of the maxilla on either side. So, this is the body of the maxilla which is seen here. The palatine process of the maxilla which is seen to extend in between the oral and the nasal cavity makes up the anterior two-third of the heart palate. Where is the, whereas the posterior one-third of the heart palate which is seen here, this is the posterior one-third of the heart palate which is formed by the horizontal plates of the palatine bone. The posterior one-third of the heart palate is formed by the horizontal plates of the palatine bone on either side. So, the right and the left side parts of the bone meet along the midline of the heart palate making up the sutural line. In the anterior two-third, the two palatine processes of the maxilla meet to make up the intermaxillary suture to make up the intermaxillary suture whereas the in the posterior one-third in the posterior one-third the horizontal plates on the either side meet along the midline making up the suture. So, the anterior two-third of the heart palate that is the anterior two-third of the heart palate is the part of the maxillary bone whereas the posterior one-third of the heart palate is the part of the palatine bones. So, these two are separated by the suture which is called as the palatomaxillary suture which is called as the palatomaxillary suture here. So, this is about the formation of the heart palate. When we talk on about the features of the individual part, to begin with the features of the palatine process of the maxilla, the palatine process of the maxilla over here, in the anterior most part of the midline, the anterior most part of the midline that is the intermaxillary suture, we can make out the fossa which is called as the incisive fossa. This is the small pit which is present against the incisor teeth. So, they are called, this is called the incisive fossa. This incisive fossa leads to the incisive canal or the incisive foramen deep to it. So, this is about the incisive fossa and the incisive canal which is also called as the foramen which lies against the incisor teeth. 
on either side along the posterior lateral i repeat along the posterior lateral border of the heart palate in front of the palato maxillary suture in front of the palato maxillary suture lies the greater palatine foramen lies the greater palatine foramen so the greater palatine foramen is present on each side which lies along the posterior lateral corners of the heart palate the exact location of this greater palatine foramen the exact location of this greater palatine foramen is present it is present at the level of the greater palatine foramen is present medial to the last molar tooth it is present medial to the last molar tooth as seen here so the greater palatine foramen is present along the posterior lateral corners of the heart palate just medial to the last molar tooth there are small lesser palatine foramina also i call it as lesser palatine foramina because these lesser palatine foramina are around 2 to 3 in number they are small foramina which are around 2 to 3 in number they are seen on each side in the pyramidal process of the palatine bone and they are located immediately behind the greater palatine foramen these lesser palatine foramina are located just behind here just behind the greater palatine foramina and they are located within the pyramidal process of the palatine bone so this is about the presence of the foramina and the canals in the heart palate there is something called as the posterior nasal spine this point which is been highlighted here this is called as the posterior nasal spine the posterior nasal spine is nothing but the conical projection it is nothing but the conical projection which is present along the median plane which is located in along the free border that is it is located along the free posterior border of the heart palate along the median plane the free posterior border of the heart palate represent this sharp conical projection here which is called as the posterior nasal spine these are the on either side of the posterior nasal spine the posterior free borders of the heart palate here are free and they are thickened to make up the palatine crust they are thickened to make up the palatine crust so this free posterior border of the heart palate which lies on either side of the posterior nasal spine make up the palatine crust it makes up the palatine crust to which lies the soft palate from this free posterior borders of the heart palate lies the begins the soft palate so the soft palate lies along the it is attached along the posterior free borders of the heart palate over here so this is about the features of the heart palate moving on to the arterial supply in this diagrammatic view we can make out the structures passing through the canals and foramina which is been discussed right now so as i have told this incisive canal or the incisive foramen allows the passage of the nasopalatine vessels so it allows the passage of the incisive canal allows the passage it transmits the nasopalatine nerve along with the greater palatine vessels so the important content of this naso of this incisive canal is the nasopalatine nerve it allow also allows the passage of it also allows the passage along passage of the greater the greater palatine vessels greater palatine vessel so this is about the contents of the incisive canal along the greater palatine foramen this greater palatine foramen 
allows the passage of the structures of the same name that is the greater palatine vessels and nerve so the greater palatine vessels and nerves make up the structures which is transmitted through the which is passing through the greater palatine foramen the lesser palatine foramina allow the passage of the lesser palatine vessels and nerves so the lesser palatine foramen allows the passage of the lesser palatine nerve and the vessels the greater palatine foramen allows the passage of the greater palatine nerves and the vessels whereas the incisive canal allows the passage of the nasal palatine nerve as well as the greater palatine vessels the nasopalatine nerve and the greater palatine vessel so these are about the structures passing through the foramina in the hard palate the hard palate lies at the level of the axis vertebrae in case of adults in case of adults the level of the hard palate the hard palate lies at the level of the axis it lies at the level of the axis whereas in case of in case of children in case of children the level the location of the hard palate is between the skull and the atlas in case of infants so the location in case of infants is between the in case of infants it is located between the base of the skull and the atlas so this is about the location of the hard palate when we talk about the structure of the hard palate the hard palate is covered the hard palate is covered by the epithelium that is along the nasal cavity along the the that the upper surface of the hard palate the upper surface of the hard palate which is say, facing the nasal cavity is lined by the ciliated columnar epithelium it is lined the upper surface is lined by the ciliated columnar epithelium it is lined by the ciliated columnar epithelium whereas the lower surface of the hard palate which lines the oral cavity is lined by the stratified it is lined by the stratified squamous epithelium stratified squamous keratinized epithelium so this is about the stratified squamous so keratinized epithelium so this is about the lining epithelium of the hard palate so the epithelium lining the upper surface is by the ciliated columnar whereas the epithelium lining the lower surface which faces the oral cavity is stratified squamous keratinized epithelium moving on to the arterial supply of the hard palate the entire hard palate is supplied by the greater palatine arteries it is supplied by the greater palatine vessels which passes through the greater palatine foramina so the hard palate is supplied by the greater palatine arteries which are the branch coming from the third part of the maxillary artery moving on to the venous drainage the veins of the hard palate are drained through the venous drainage of this hard palate is through the venous drainage is through the pterygoid venous plexus and the pharyngeal venous plexus the venous drainage is to the pterygoid and also the pharyngeal venous plexus so this is about the arterial and the venous drainage of the hard palate next moving on to the nerve supply of the hard palate the nerve supply of the hard palate is by the greater palatine and the nasopalatine nerves which are derived from the pterygopalatine ganglion so the nerve supply is from the greater palatine nerves and the greater palatine nerves and the nasopalatine nerves which are coming up from the ganglion that is the pterygopalatine ganglion so this greater palatine nerve supplies the whole of the palate except the anterior part of the hard palate i repeat the greater palatine nerve supplies the entire palate 
entire heart palate except the anterior most part except the anterior part against the incisor teeth which is supplied by the nasopalatine so the nasopalatine nerve supplies the part of the heart palate this part of the heart palate is taken up by the nasopalatine nerve it is supplied by the nasopalatine nerve lastly winding up with the lymphatic drainage the lymphatics from the palate drain mostly into the upper deep cervical and few of them reach the retropharyngeal group of lymph nodes so this is all about the heart palate so we have studied we have learned about the formation of the heart palate the location of the heart palate the structure of the heart palate the foramina present within the heart palate along with the arterial the venous the nerve supply and the lymphatic drainage of the heart palate in this video thank you